report. Well, Jenny Dilby recently celebrated her 20th year as the Space Needle elevator operator, even though she gets motion sickness and has a tremendous fear of heights. Jenny says she has escorted guests up and down the elevator over 75,000 times and never gets tired of saying those familiar words, Oh my God, we're all gonna die! <laughs> Boeing won a $1.1 billion Air Force contract this week to develop laser-armed military jets that officials say will revolutionize combat in the 21st century. A Boeing spokesperson said it's nice to know that there will continue to be conflict, terrorism, and war in the next century, and that we're excited that Boeing will be a part of it. <laughs> A Seattle public relations executive says he was sprayed twice with, an her with a herbicide from a helicopter as he was hunting in the Hanford Reach area. He says the experience was pretty unpleasant, but he no longer suffers from aphids. <laughs> the town of Orting is testing several different warning systems to prepare for the inevitable eruption of Mount Rainier. The most popular alarm so far has turned out to be the Barry White Early Warning System. <laughs> I believe we have a demonstration tape of it, of that right now. Oh, it's gonna blow. <laughs> the Barry White Early Warning System. <laughs> Now, police are giving tickets to underage youth who are caught smoking, but admit the tickets carry no penalty or punishment for the crime. The police say that this will teach kids a lesson of what it would be like to grow up and become a professional athlete. <laughs> Everett City Councilwoman Thelma Hansen blamed her poor eyesight for using a city-issued visa card to charge at casinos in Arizona, Nevada, and California. When Hansen was asked how she could blame her eyesight for using the card so many different times and in different states, she responded, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I have poor hearing. <laughs> a gargoyle clock is being installed in Fremont, which will include 24 garg gargoyles who all shout lunch in unison at 12 noon every day. <laughs> at 12 midnight, they'll all shout, turn off the Indian folk music and go to bed. <laughs> Finally, Ernst Home Centers have announced that they will be selling all their stores and going out of business. If you're interested in buying the chain, good luck on getting someone to wait on you. <laughs> it's been a late report. Don't go away. We're coming right back.